Hello, hey, welcome in everybody. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Tarot and this is going to be a message for the Twin Flame Collective. And so I got a download on the weekend. I was too tired to put it out there. So the message is getting put out there today, but we are in a major gateway portal of waking the sleeping phoenix is what it felt like and so a lot of the divine masculine collective they're coming back online so let's talk about these energies before jumping into the channel message i want you to hit that subscribe button guys i want you to like the video comment on the video share the video especially if you're resonating with the message helps the channel to grow it's just a nice free easy way to show me some love and show me some support but let's talk about these insights that i gained okay and so we are here to create unity right now i feel the masculine is in this major gateway of the energy of the judgment card with the eight of wands is what i was shown and then the five of swords with the ace of swords and so there's like a dispersion it, sh it was shown to me as like this great big dispersion of energies and so the masculine is coming into this divine truth, this divine knowledge, and this bonding with the higher energies of the divine feminine in 5D. And this connection is intimacy beyond words when we go through this higher alchemy, this alchemy of hearts. And so we are in the gateway opening of all of this collective abundance and so i talked about it in the daily i'm going to talk about it again we've got three nine nine portals playing out this september and i do feel this is the completion and the roundup of all three of those 888 portals that we went through in august and so the masculine is is has only just skimmed the surface i feel and now all of this superficiality, all of this shallowness surrounded the masculine is kind of falling away. And he's in a major state of contemplation is really what it feels like. And so we are in the precipice of the first wave of these mass unions of the twin flames and so these waves of union they are going to commence this uh nine nine portal all the way through um 2027 now through the year 2027 and so there's a lot of spiritual awareness arising in the energies awakening the divine masculine collective and this gateway portal is all about feeling it's all about emoting it's all about the wonderment of the grail cup itself which is the holy grail which is the heart chakra activation and so this gateway is also the gateway of power is what i was shown and so true pure unconditional power is actually pure unconditional love and so there's this uh paradigm shift going on here and so right now i feel there's a lot of relationship power plays and struggling dynamics that the masculines are going to have to overcome when it comes to facing challenges and hurdles and i do feel this heart chakra awakening feels like the masculines are being emotionally uh carried away and this is gonna manifest as some type of very um strong underlying frustration because of the realization of the self-sabotage and behaviors and so i do feel there's a lot of unhealthy misdirected energies that the masculine are now having to face 333 on the timer and um and so this conflict this tension is arising so we can walk through that gateway portal of emotional healing and so right now the masculine is needing to face all of this disharmony this discord uh, connected to the betrayal of the divine feminine and not choosing the divine feminine but it is through the portal of betrayal that we gain our deep insights right and so there's a lot of clarity coming forward a lot of mental clarity coming forward uh, for the divine masculine in the face of some sort of betrayal or realization is what it felt like and so this is going to be a time of emotional turbulence for many of the masculines in the collective but it is likely going to lead to some type of personal breakthrough and so the masculine does also have to come to terms with the loss and regret of not choosing the feminine and he does need to make space to process that grief of abandonment uh, we all have to have that uh, opening where we process that grief of abandonment and so we are in a significant portal of change significant change is rapidly approaching and so these three nine nine portals we're going to have the first one today on september the 9th the second one on the 18th and the third one on the 27th and so it's really important over the coming weeks to recognize 
any challenges that are coming up and to view these challenges as an opportunity for growth and to act decisively to take that course corrective action. And so there really is a need over the coming weeks to make that final decision when it comes to matters of the heart. And I think the masculine is finally waking up. We're waking that sleeping Phoenix. So let's jump in uh, with the tarot and let's see what else needs to come through for the twins. So we're going to start off with the archetype cards by Carolyn Miss. So uh, let's get into it. Look at that bottom of the deck, God. Um, and so I do feel uh, the masculine is really recognizing um, how he tried to control the whole situation and how cruel uh, his treatment was towards the divine feminine. And so we, we all have to kind of recognize this eternal uh, life force energy within ourselves and within others because we all have little bits and pieces of this life force energy. We are all children of the divine right and so right now i feel the masculine might be having a hard time defending himself against a lot of negative forces uh but this is the gateway of innocence the gateway of purification and so we are in a major triple nine nine portal gateway of redemption for the twins and so this really is a special uh connection that the twins do share and we are being encouraged to create that space to make room for this so we're going to get a few of these cards out for the divine masculine collective first one already dropped on the table and i can't see it i'd like to get a couple more there we go <laughs> we're not going to take the ones that fell uh, face down but look at that we get mystic and we get liberator so there is something about the throat chakra i do feel the masculine hey he's got somebody within his energy field trying uh to to impose some type of tyranny over him um and there's some type of constraints that i feel the masculine is going to have to free himself from and this is connected to an old uh, belief system an old uh, social group and so there is a major release of negative thought patterns going on for the divine masculine at this time it's like uh, the ancestors are handing him the torch and uh, there's some type of flame being ignited and i do feel delusional rapport with the divine so there's a, a mystical uh disillusionment uh, surrounding the masculine when it comes to this intimate union and so the masculine is experiencing that intimacy beyond words when it comes to the union between uh himself and the counterpart and so look at that bottom of the deck we get the monk and the nun card and so the masculine has a choice to make throughout these portal gateways and so he can keep playing into that negative judgment of the physical world he can keep playing into this excess pity party and he can keep playing the victim or he can choose to step into selfless devotion of the path uh step into selfless devotion of the spiritually uh mindedness within the community this is about dedication to the community dedication to the path and so right now you kind of see the twins kind of have their backs turned to one another but it's like they've both been praying for one another so let's get a couple of these cards out for the divine feminine and we got a huge pile they all flipped out i don't know if i want to take them and then this one come out sideways but we're going to take them so we got the mentor card in reverse for the divine feminine below that the shapeshifter the engineer the hero or the heroine and uh, the don juan the visionary and the angel card so we're going to talk about all of these but i feel uh divine feminine are you are you resistant to passing on this wisdom and this knowledge there's something about refining your character throughout these portals divine feminine uh so your energy is coming through loud and so you have to find your ability to move out of the student role and into the mentorship role into the teaching role and so i know i work with a lot of you i work with a lot of divine feminines on the path who are still resistant uh, to putting their message out there to imparting their message uh publicly and so i do feel uh with the shapeshifter and the engineer card um there is something here about creating resolutions and so you might be facing a dilemma i feel you don't understand how powerful you are when it comes to your life giving creative energy and you're here to give this 
creative energy, a practical expression. And so there's resistance, I feel, for many within the feminine collective of stepping into that leadership role, that mastership, uh, mentorship role. And so you might find yourself uh, shape-shifting. And so be mindful of projections is what I want to say. Be mindful of projections. You can't just project an image that serves your own personal agenda either. And so the Divine Feminine has this skill of navigating these higher timelines, of navigating these higher frequencies, these different levels of consciousness. And I know for me, I go all the way up to the 13th. I mostly stay between 7 and 8, and I always fall back uh, to, to work through the collective consciousness as well. But uh, the Divine Feminine has this ability to see the potential energies of everything. And so um, it's time for you to bring forward your truth and with the hero card the heroine card and the don juan there there's like a highlight of energies coming through and you can't keep escaping facing the challenge of personal empowerment and putting your message out there and so the twins do face these challenges on parallel timelines and so when we go into separation we do face similar challenges in parallel timelines until we meet at the peak at the precipice of this union and so you have to find passion for your journey you have to find passion to step into personal empowerment and to stop stuffing down your mentorship qualities i also feel be mindful because if you're tempted to maybe use your seductive qualities uh, to veer stray or to veer off path, you are being reminded that you are here to be a visionary. You are here to be a visionary. And so once you are awakened on the path, it's no longer about your private agenda, divine feminine. And so there is this energy here of do not mislead yourself. Do not mislead yourself. Do not go down the pathway of um, being with false counterparts or false soul connections. Uh, I do feel your mission right now is to help those in need. The Divine Feminine is being asked to step up into that visionary role because you do have a capacity to envision a better future, to ground in this energy of creating unity. The twins did come here to create unity. And so you can see what is not yet conceivable to all others uh, within your group. And so it's time for you to step into being that visionary leader and helping those in need. And so I think this is the block sideways cards are always a challenge and so there's a challenge here because i think uh you, at some point in time you might just want to say hey i want to pursue pleasures of life again i don't know about you but i've been celibate and have had no pursuit of that type of pleasure for many many years but you cannot indulge in these pleasures because it will be at the expense of this mission and so i feel you got to find your inspiration divine feminine to uh, embrace this creative energy to see the good in everything and to really celebrate the beauty of this connection and all that it has brought forward so what do we got on the bottom of the deck <laughs> we got the virgin we got the virgin mary and so that is indicative of divine feminine and so uh do not be afraid of the intimate union with the counterpart do not be afraid of the return i do feel you are being called to maintain your symbolic purity so I know many of the feminines, we go through like feeling like we are chastised and we are we are in this role of we've got a chastity belt on and we're not allowed to be intimate with anybody but the counterpart after the awakening. And so you are called to maintain your purity of heart and your purity of spirit. And so what is the com what is the combined message? What is the combined archetype that the twins are working at integrating? In these energies, I do feel as the feminine kind of really steps into releasing fear of union, this does trigger the, the disillusionment on the masculine side. And so we get the detective, we get the vampire, we get the poet, we get the scribe, we get the victim and the servant. And so uh, together the twins are here to uh, go into observation. We have to observe our surroundings. We have to observe our emotions and our and our actions. 
as an outsider a little bit and we we are here to seek out that truth and to speak that truth and so a lot of the twins we we come up against a lot of emotional vampires and so recognize the people in your current reality that are chronic complainers that are chronically codependent on you um at, because i feel something is being made aware of where your life force draining life force energy is being leaked the poet energy is saying hey it's time to express your soul insights it's time to preserve this higher knowledge and to put this information out there so we can't keep playing the these victim routines we can't play the victim and uh, that is what the twins are here to do we're here to maintain personal boundaries we're here to overcome victimization mentality we're here to help others overcome being victimized and we are not here to be to to be playing into that role of victim and so this is about service, uh, service mission. And so we can't use lack of money or, or anything like that as an excuse to, to not move forward in life. And so there's something about liberation and freedom. And so we get the mediator. We, we are in this energy of all of the hidden agendas are coming to light. All of the hidden collective agendas are coming to light. And so this is about uh, negotiating finding fairness, finding balance, and maybe having respect for the for the fact that you've walked parallel timelines. Let's go a little bit further here. Let's get a couple star codes, astro oracle messages, um, and let's get a couple of these cards for the masculine. Let's see if there's any astrology messages that need to come through on the masculine side. Messages for the divine masculine. All right, we got one out here. We get Neptune. So this is about holding the vision. I do feel a page of wands energy on the feminine side. This is the masculine. That that goes right along with the delusional rapport coming out of some type of an illusion. I heard Sag. Uh, so your masculine could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Uh, you could be a Neptune in Sagittarius. That could be why I heard Sag. And uh, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Oh my God. We're going to take the two that come out upright. But the cards are kind of just falling out here. So... Uh, we get the trine energy uh, i feel queen of swords and we get uh, temperance energy a little bit of temperance here so there is a crossroads there is a choice here and so it may be very uncomfortable it may feel very debilitating when it comes to putting your message out there but there's some type of uh truth that you need to speak that is going to bring some type of union together bottom of the deck we get transits there's that Ace of Swords energy. And so when the truth kind of washes over you, it does. It puts you in this fetal position because everything you've once known has now been shattered. And so we've got some major transits playing out here coming up that uh, are really going to be affecting the twins. So let's read into the transits card very quickly. And so it, it is this energy of moving through space and time spinning I, I feel a lot of the masculines are spinning there's new opportunities opening opening up this month as all of these old karmic cycles close these old chapters close i just heard that heard it from heard it from the grapevine heard it through the grapevine do you remember those little raisins i used to sing when we were little heard it through the grapevine maybe that's showing showing my age uh but there could be some type of like gossip or slander going on here but uh, this really is about uh, walking away from something that is very karmically charged is what it feels like. And so all of these portals, all of these transits are saying, get ready to make some changes, get ready to embrace some changes. You might want to maybe book a transit chart reading or a birth chart reading. This really is the perfect opportunity to um, learn your birth chart. There's valuable lessons that are being learned in, in these uh, transits. And so sometimes there are things that happen where we are not in control. And that can be very scary when you lose control. But this is also where we learn to surrender to the higher power. And so there could be an event transiting both of you are transitioning both of you to the next cycle and so there's an influx i feel of energies uh bursting so let's read the neptune card uh for the divine masculine see if we can gain a little bit more insight there i just feel there's overwhelm uh for the masculine when it comes to um, this disillusionment and the acceptance right so a lot of the masculines have been very passive and they've not been taking action they've actually been uh, very much in their feminine energy 
and I just heard water damage, so I don't know what that means. But uh, I do feel the masculine is feeling the separation, but in essence, there really is no separation between you and your counterpart ever. We are always connected, and so there, it feels like there's a great ocean between the twins right now, but the masculine is starting to tap into the collective consciousness. And so although it feels like there's a separation between the two of you, the masculine is, is tapping into the realms of spirit. And I do feel he is being asked to step out of that uh, very karmic situation to head towards you. And so this is a challenge. This is a challenge. Divine Feminine with the trine energy. This is saying, take the path of least resistance. Would you take the path of least resistance? Because when you do, it is not only delightful, but it is unlimited and so don't get stuck in your comfortable rut get out of that comfort zone divine feminine uh, because you don't grow when you're comfortable and so i do feel this is time for you to co collaborate uh to go to go and put yourself out there and to grow organically is is that message for the feminine and it's uncomfortable but speaking your truth is what is going to allow you to break yourself free from a certain pattern so let's get some tarot out for both of the counterparts and then we'll close it off with my twin flame uh, message deck look at that high priestess on the bottom of the deck and the emperor below that and so i do feel divine feminine i'm sure you can feel your counterpart going through this fall from grace is really what it feels like and i also feel the masculine is deep into the depths of the darkness of where he has abused his power and his gifts and this could be connected to past life energy as well so let's get into it for the divine masculine energies for the divine masculine oh we got that queen of wands just flipped out sideways uh with the hermit sideways so uh, the karmic feminine is still a block the karmic is still a block but i do feel victory over those over those challenges and so these two come out sideways so we get the hermit sideways and the queen of wands sideways but there is victory here so the masculine i think is facing challenges and hurdles maybe over the next six weeks there's going to be a series of challenges that the masculine is going to have to face because I do feel he's gained that enlightenment and the karmic is still a block. But there's the recognition of, hey, this is not healthy for me. This is karmic. And there's going to be some challenges and some delays. The masculine could be facing a lot of loss at this point in time. And uh, this to me is saying unexpected upheaval. And we get the judgment card. And so the masculine is in a state of death in a state of reflection, definitely recognizing who or what is keeping him stuck. And there's still this energy of inability to move on. I do feel that second 99 portal is going to be right around that Pisces full moon eclipse. And so there is going to be a revelation. There is going to be something breaking the masculine free from that false foundation, that false belief. Um, and so the bubble's about to get burst here, guys. The bubble's about to get burst, and I do feel massive heart expansion, but this has been a struggle. This has been a challenge, and so this has been delayed. This expansion journey has been delayed until the masculine can, can conclude uh, and recognize where he's at is not healthy. But I do feel major portal of death. And this also has to do with Pluto dipping back into Capricorn. There's a major cleanup. There's a major process of soul retrieval going on here. But so much resistance to moving on from that comfort zone. So much resistance to walking the spiritual path. But there's going to be some type of hiccup here. Something that's going to wake the masculine up and break him free from some type of an illusion. Overwhelming fear. I feel overwhelming fear. You're likely to hear... From your counterpart around that full moon eclipse we got the sun card out uh so look at that and the queen of swords so i just want to say uh see the light step into the light divine feminine you are encouraged to step into that uh step into the spotlight it's time for you to shine your light it's time for you to step into the spotlight it's time for you to share your truth speak your truth uh share your gifts i'd like to get a couple more cards out here for the divine feminine that Queen of Swords is saying, hey, it's time for you to step into being that mentor. And so two of wands in reverse, there is this energy of blocked movement is what I feel. And so we do all get to create the reality that we choose. And so you can't stop yourself from moving forward because you're waiting for the counterpart to step forward. I do feel uh, if you're waiting for the counterpart to come and build this legacy with you, 
you got to just keep putting one foot in front of the other. It's time for you to take charge. It's time for you to shine that light, to be that guiding light for others, uh, Divine Feminine. So you might have prominent Leo in your chart, but it's time for you to be the path. It's time for you to release that grip of waiting for the masculine to return to build the legacy with you. Uh, you you got to trust that as you walk the path, this karmic rebalancing is going to take place. And so release the struggle to release it. So there's, there's struggle on both ends in different avenues here in different aspects. So let's get some twin flame messages. I feel this really is a time for you to speak up for sure. And it's uncomfortable. It really is. And so uh, let's see what else needs to come through for the twins. Unresolved issues. So there's uh, parent issues coming up for the masculine, I feel. And I do feel your current challenges are also related uh, to past life wounds right now, Divine Feminine. We get uh, twin flame recognition that kind of come out sideways. So there's like almost like a disbelief that yes, this is your twin soul. And so mother-father wounding on the masculine side is a block. And you are here to clear it up when it comes to past life karma. And so there's a change in the wind. There's definitely a change in the wind coming here. And so we are shifting out of difficulty. And usually it gets darkest before the dawning, before the dawning, right? And so right now we are receiving all kinds of light code activations going through these transits, these portals. And so receive the activations, trust that you're receiving these galactic downloads. And so there is the, the recognition of the true counterpart situation, but it's a challenge in believing it. So work through the difficult past life karma. I do feel a lot of this has to do with gender roles, uh, role reversal. A lot of the twins are androgynous beings. And so issues with the parents will always surface when it comes to healing the ancestral patterns. Is there any other messages that need to come through? For the twins <laughs> oh it went all the way on the floor where did it go <laughs> gender roles chakra <laughs> oh my goodness i got it <laughs> we get the chakra cards and so we really do need to clear the energy flow uh between the twins but something about uh the gender roles and so we are here to clear all of this negative human patterning so reflect 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 on what it is you need to balance because they do feel a faded imminent a faded meeting is imminent and so there's some type of twin soul union being made manifest throughout these 399 portals and so remember you are here to co-create you are here to co-create you are here to create unity so keep holding on to those desires and recognize the blocks that need to be released and that's kind of what i got for a twin flame message update guys i hope this helped i hope this resonated if you would like to go further and book a personal or a twin soul reading with me, check out the description box below, guys. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.